dearest, even though you are not real, you are more dear to me than the man who has asked just this night for my hand in marriage. I do not love him. To please father, I have tried. And sadly, I know I have a duty to obey and must soon accept. But I ache for a love that burns like fire and moonlight. Dear Elizabeth, I'm sure you'll find this as impossible to believe as I do. My name is Scott Corrigan. I live in Boston, but not the Boston you know. The Boston, as I write these words at my desk, or rather your desk, because I now own the desk that sits in your bedroom, I try to imagine how all of this could have happened. The only explanation I can come up with is that for some reason the connection between us is so strong that we're able to talk to each other across the chasm of time. If I haven't utterly terrified you, please sit at our desk and write again soon. You Dear Mr. Corrigan, I have decided to accept that the laws of nature, as they apply to you and me, have been, for whatever reason, temporarily suspended. You have the advantage over me in that you know my deepest secrets. Well, I know none of yours. Tell me who you are and how you live in your time so many years in the future.